what's up it's kosha if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for joining me again and if you are new girl thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope you stick around and i hope you like what you see and decide to subscribe so i wanted to do something different i have a few well i have more than a few body mist in my collection that i like but i don't love it's something about it that i'm not loving but i did like them enough to keep them and i just want to talk about it today all right let's go ahead and get started i like all of these scents but there is a but to all of these that i chose okay so first up is gingham gorgeous I know, girl, what could I possibly have bad to say about Gingham Gorgeous? Um, this has notes of pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. This is a beautiful floral scent. Um, you definitely get the fresh strawberries in here. It smells really good. This is my complaint about it, and this is why I just did not fall in love with it. I wanted the strawberries to be sweeter. I don't get sweet strawberries. I get fresh, not quite ripe yet, like they were picked too soon. You know how you get them strawberries at the grocery store, they look all pretty, but you bite into it and it's sour. Y'all know how that goes. So that's what this smells like, which is fine. Like I said, it's still really pretty. I do still really enjoy it, but, but that's my complaint. I wish this mist was sweeter, okay? Um, now, I do own the body butter. And the body butter to me does smell sweeter. So I'm so happy I decided to pick up the body butter in this scent because um, yeah, it just makes this scent that much better on my skin. But yeah, alone, that's my butt with this mist. It's not sweet enough. Okay, next up, I'm gonna talk about gingham. This is the original gingham. Um, Ooh, girl, the notes on mine are non-existent, okay? <laughs> uh, I've had this bottle a while. Um, this was actually gifted to me for Mother's Day from my sister. She got me this and Hello Beautiful. I like this scent. I do think it's unique to any other fresh scent that I do own. Um, it has daisies in it, I believe. There's freesia in this. There's musk in this. It is very strong. It is floral, okay? It is a fresh floral. It is a heavy hitter. Um, I think it's some, is it some citrus in this? Hold on, let me find the lotion real quick. Oh, ooh, and it's right up front too. It actually is citrus in it. Look, I, I knew I remember smelling citrus in this. Um, so this does have white peach and fresh clementine in it as well. And violet. So yeah, like I said, I do like this. I do enjoy it. But it is so, it's one of those scents. It's just heady for me. And my the way my sinuses are set up, my, my nasal passages are set up. This can be a lot for me, especially when it's starting to warm up. Um, the spring is here and it's just pollen is starting to accumulate and all that. Like this can be a whole lot for me. Um, so it kind of makes it hard for me to enjoy this. But um, yeah, it's okay. And I'm not a citrus lover either. And I think that's another reason why I don't love it. But again, I do think it is a really, really pretty um it's a really pretty fresh floral scent so if you are into those types of scents you would love this my next but is beautiful day uh, i like this scent i hauled this during the spring i just had to have it because i thought this packaging was gorgeous it's, it really is i love this blue and this green ombre it's so pretty and it does smell good Again, this is a fresh, fruity, floral scent. This has notes of sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. I do like this mist. I think Beautiful Day smells really good, but it smells like a hair product. And um, not like, I want it to smell more soapy 
like um, a fresh apple-y, like shampoo-y type of scent, which is what I got initially when I first smelled this, when I bought it. But when I wore it, it dries down and it smells like hairspray on me, like a fresh hairspray, fresh scented hairspray. And I mean, it's not a bad scent, but that's just not my vibe. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm gonna name this video. I just realized it. I still have not figured out what I'm gonna name this. I am still up here, I'm working out what the title is gonna be. So yeah, <laughs> bear with me y'all. <laughs> All right, next up is Cucumber Melon. This has notes of uh, crisp cucumber, water, watery honeydew, summer cantaloupe, sparkling grapefruit, and sheer woods. Um, I like cucumber melon. It smells really good. Really fresh, fruity, melon type of scent. Like you get all of that. It smells really good. It smells like summer. But I don't know. Like I wore it and I just was not. I just feel like, oh, okay. <laughs> Like I wasn't excited about it. Smelling it didn't do anything for me. It just did not move me in any kind of way. So that is why uh, Cucumber Melon made it to this list. Next up is going to be Groovy Watermelon for me. And not even the mist. I love the mist. This, I put this in here really because of the lotion. Look, I just didn't feel like digging for the lotion, okay? So I like this mist a lot. It is really sweet. It smells like a juicy watermelon candy, okay? It smells really good. But this does have a note in it that is lime zest. In the mist, it does not bother me. It is not that prominent in the mist, but in the body lotion. That lime zest, it's a little too strong for me. I don't love that lime zest on me. It kind of smells sour on me. It smells like sour candy when I layer everything together, which is not bad. Um, I got compliments on it when I wore it. But yeah, regardless of me getting compliments and everybody else loving it, I don't love that lotion. I don't like the lime in it. Next up, I'm going to talk about Sweet Petal Pound Cake. This has notes of candied rose raspberry swirl and frosted bun cake um this smells kind of weird to me on its own because this is a gourmand scent and then that rose with it it just smells weird to me i don't love that floral aspects of it but um layered with strawberry pound cake i absolutely love this scent okay so i have such a dent in it because that's what i was using with this i think it smells so good um i would i don't think i would have mind the rose note being in here so much if it actually smelled like cake this does not smell like cake to me at all it smells more like icing okay so that's why i don't love it like it just it's weird to me i don't like to wear it on its own i have to pair this with something else gourmand for me to love it next up for me is going to be some people's favorite but yeah it's not a favorite of mine that is sunset glow I picked this up at SAS, um, Summer SAS 2022 when they brought back Beach Nights. Um, when I got to the store to get Beach Nights, it was all sold out um, and it was all the hype during that time. Everybody was so excited that they brought it back. I went in there to look for it and they did not have it. Um, the sales associate pointed this one out to me it's not exactly like beach nights but she said that it, it does smell good and it's along those uh along the same lines as beach nights so i went ahead i smelled it and i thought it smelled good so i went ahead and bought it i do think it smells good but i just don't love it and i don't know if it's because it has the cherry seltzer in it um and i i don't like cherry scents i'm not a fan at all okay I have not found a cherry scent yet that just makes me go, oh, this smells so good. Like, that's not me. I don't, I don't vibe with it. <laughs> so, but I, it is tolerable. For me, I can do cherry in this scent because it's not the main note. Um, there are other things in here, like there's fresh coconut. It's dreamy moonflower, caramelized vanilla. Love the caramelized vanilla in this. So it makes me 
able to wear this even though it does have that cherry seltzer in it but i don't know like even though i like it i still don't love it and it's just not one of my faves i don't think to reach for it so yeah yeah that made the list as well next up is amethyst waves so this has notes of dream berries, wild blooms, and soft sandalwood. Um, I think amethyst waves does smell good, but um, and I thought I was really gonna love it when I bought it and I smelled it. I thought it smelled good, but when I wore it, it just was not doing nothing for me. Um, it didn't do nothing for me. It didn't blow my mind. It is just very, it's very light in scent as well. Very light in scent. So yeah, that's soft sandalwood in it. It just really makes this really soft. It does not project a whole lot. It is a really pretty scent, but it's nothing mind blowing, nothing to write home about, nothing to rave about. Now I'm gonna move on to some fall scents that I picked up recently, actually, um, this past year. Um, so first up, I'm gonna talk about sweater weather. This has notes of sun crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchid woods. So smelling it from the bottle, I liked sweater weather. I thought it smelled really good, really fresh apple, and it's woody. And this is unisex. So like I did like it when I smelled it. I liked it enough to buy it. I thought it smelled really good. I like a really good unisex scent. But I wore it and it just got on my nerves. <laughs> And I think it's the apple in it. The apple gets on my nerves for whatever reason. And I was thinking about buying the body lo the, uh, the lotion to pair with it um, one day during one of their little lotion sales that they were having. And I went in the store and I put some on my hand, you know, from the little um, the tester bottle they had, you know, to make up my mind and see if I wanted to get the lotion. And oh my God. I regretted putting that lotion on again. The apple in it just irritated my soul. <laughs> I could not wait to get home to wash my hands to wash that off. I just could not take it. It did not smell good to me. So I don't know. Maybe it was just a little too warm. Like during that time, it was cool, but it wasn't. It wasn't cold at that time that I tried it. So maybe I should, this is this might be one that I can only tolerate in the winter when it's cold, cold. Because during the fall, I can't take the apple. It's too much for me. It, it irritates me. Next up is the vampire blood. I know, I cannot believe I am putting this on the list. It took me a while to admit that I don't even love this scent because I do like it. I was so hyped up for it. I could not wait for it to drop when I saw that they had it and uh, they were dropping it for body care because I had Vampire Blood before in the hand soap, the foaming hand soap, and I loved it. I thought it smelled so good. I was like, oh my God, if they made this in body care, I would buy it. So when I saw they were coming out with it in body care, I was so hyped for it, could not wait to purchase it. Got it, and y'all, <laughs> It smells good, but I don't know if anybody else has noticed this or if they even pick it up, or maybe it's just me. But this has like a plastic smell and not even just me spraying it in a cap. I've worn it on my skin. I just recently sprayed it on my arm yesterday just to make sure that I'm not tripping and I really do feel this way. I really do pick this up. And again, I still smell that. It smells kind of plasticky to me. You still smell the red berries that's in here. The notes are red berries, night bloom, and jasmine, and petrified plum. I smell all of that. It smells really good, but somewhere in there, somewhere in there, in the mix, it just smells like a plastic to me. Hopefully, I can find a perfume to layer with this that uh, will make that less noticeable for me and make me love wearing it. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, moving on. Next up, I'm going to talk about some perfumey scents that I have. Um, first up, let's talk about Fallen Bloom. The notes are Juicy Plum, 
Wild Blooms and Velvet Moss. Um, I hate the lotion in this. Something about it. It kind of gives me some type of spice in here. Some type of sp uh, spice smell that is not listed. I don't know if it's the Wild Blooms. Something in here. I don't love it. I cannot stand this lotion. Um, I haven't tried to wear it since last fall. So, I don't know. I might like it um, if I ever try it again. But I'm just not enthused. Uh, I, don't know. I know I'm not enthused something about this in DNA I, I don't love it the mist though I do like better than I like the lotion but every time I go to my collection and try to pick out a scent a body care scent I always overlook this I'll see it and I'll be like no no I don't want to I don't want to do it okay okay next up is in the stars this has notes of starflower, sandalwood musk, sugar tangelo, white argarwood, and radiant amber. So this scent, it smells good to me, but something in it is sharp. And it makes me not love it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the floral, the starflower. I don't know what sugar tangelo is. I don't know. I'm not sure what notes in here is giving me that sharpness but oh yeah it's it's in here but it is pretty i did enjoy wearing it but that whatever that sharpness in here it, it is a little aggravating now does it bother me the way the apple and sweater weather bothers me not at all it's not that bad <laughs> it doesn't bother me that much like i can get over this smelling a little sharp um i don't have any other body care in this scent so I'm not sure if like um, a lotion or body cream or like balance it out or anything. But yeah, from the mist, that's what I have to say about the mist. That is why it is not a love for me. Last but not least, I chose Into the Night. I know, I know. It hurts my heart to put this in here. <laughs> um, this has notes of Raspberry Noir. Uh, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. So I put into the night in this whole least light category. It's because I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I remember when I first smelled this in the store back in like, what was it, 2021. Um, I went to Bath and Body Works with my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and we were, you know, smelling all the new stuff and everything and we picked up this one and everybody agreed, you know, we all agreed this one smelled really good, but I decided not to get this one at that time because, you know, I wanted to get some more summery uh, spring type scents, so that's what I got. Fast forward, I went in there again and I smelled it because I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it this time. This was during one of their sales or something. And I smelled it. And that time I wasn't loving it. Um, so I didn't get it. And then I ended up buying it. I got a mini of it. Um, just to see if my thoughts would change. Because I was like, I really loved it the first time I smelled it. I don't know what's, what my issue is now. Got it in a mini. Wore the mini. And it smells good. I really think it smells so good. But it's just not one that I think to reach for. I did go ahead and get it in a full size. Um, just because I wanted to have it in a full size miss. I don't know. I don't know why I bought this. Okay. I just bought it to be buying it. Let's just keep it real. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is just a really pretty perfumey scent. You get the raspberry in it. You get the mocha musk, all of that. And you definitely get the patchouli in it. Okay. So it is really perfumey. It smells good, but I just, I don't know. I haven't fallen in love with it yet. All right, you guys, well, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.